Celebrity Top 10. We give you the latest, the juiciest, and the hottest entertainment news, whether local man or international. Yan ang hatid namin sa inyo kasi here's a countdown you shouldn't miss. The new normal you can't resist. Come on, let's start with the day's number 10. There's some news about Darren Barnett and his new project. What is it? Ding, ding, ding. Yup, he's gonna join the much-talked-about Gran Turismo. It's the breakout star of Netflix. Ha- Never have I ever joining this big project. Well, he's gonna be in it with Archie Maduki and David Harbour, as well as, well, Orlando Bloom. The movie is based on a best-selling video game which will be directed by Neil Blomkamp. And guess what? I swear. I mean, that, that was about, what, 10 years ago? I used to play this a lot in Nintendo. Anyway, the production will start in Hungary, where the movie is set to be released. And it's 2023 in cinema, so na sa ano na sila, no, production stage. Sarah Paulson to play cult leader in the HBO series. Yeah. Alam mo para minam para me yung mga cult na na cult centric stories that we do see in Hollywood and here in the Philippines. But right now, this is a great actress. It's Sarah Paulson who's gonna play another real person. She will be playing a cult leader, Gwen Shamblin, for HBO Max's scripted adaptation of the docu series The Way Down. God, Greed, and the Cult of Gwen Shamblin. It was HBO Max's most watched docuseries when it was launched with three episodes. And now, dahil sinabi niyo yan, mamaya yan ang panonoorin ko yung docuseries na yan. Ding, ding, ding. Gwen rose to fame, well, with Way Down Workshop, which was a Christian-based diet workshop. What? Yeah. She was accused of emotional, psychological, and physical abuse and exploitation for the alleged cult-like practices. Sarah will also be the executive producer of the project, and it's still in development. Sarah came fresh from her Emmy nomination as Linda Tripp in Impeachment, American Crime Story. Ding, ding, ding. Number eight. Chloe Zhao signs with Searchlight Television. Wow! So, from her Oscar award winning projects, now she is what? Headed to television. Ding, ding, ding. And she did sign a multiple year contract in, with Searchlight. This is a reunion for Chloe and Searchlight, which is a film studio that distributed the Oscar winning film No Mad Land. And in a statement released, Searchlight said that Chloe is a visionary filmmaker and they will be. They finish Nomad Land. They find ways to collaborate with her again. And this is a perfect way, too, don't you think? The film earned three Oscars, including Best Picture, Best Actress for Frances McDormand, and Best Director for Chloe Zhao. Congrats, Chloe. All right, we haven't talked about the Kardashians in a while. Well, maybe they do have to up their media PR team. Ding, ding, ding. But yes, at least this landed on top seven as Kourtney Kardashian yet again shut down rumors that she is pregnant. Yup, she clapped back on netizens and fans asking her online if she is. In a series of photos on IG, she is wearing a lingerie showing off her stomach confirming that she is not pregnant. Courtney and her husband, Travis Barker, are in their journey via in vitro fertilization or IVF, and that's according to people close to them, as reported by people as well. The two got legally married back in May and tied the knot again in Italy thereafter. But, 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 well, we do know that um, it's really not nice to, to assume someone's pregnant. I think that is just, well, personally, that is offensive, right? Let them, let them have their time because being a mother right now it's such a special time for us to be the person announcing such a special moment in one's life right so yes let's just wait for anybody uh, if whatever meaning the netizens want to put in their comments just be kind Ooh, seems like the Kardashians PR is working double time as number six. It's still Kim Kardashian. Or, it's still a Kardashian in her top 10. And right now, Kim, yes, she's going to be honored by a nonprofit organization. 
Kim has been selected by the organization Baby to Baby to receive the Giving Tree Award. In an announcement, Baby to Baby said that Kim has donated more than five hundred thousand dollars, or almost thirty million pesos, and five million, or almost three hundred million pesos in kind since twenty thirteen to the nonprofit group. Good job, Kim. I think that's more of like the the news we should talk about when it's when it comes to them. <laughs> Anyway, guys, we're halfway on the show. Hello to the All Addicts and OMJ supporters. Hi to you guys. Thank you for watching and keeping it here at Celebrity Top 10. This is a short but sweet program, but eh, well, we'll give you quite the pun. Ding, ding, ding. Uh-huh. So we are, yes, you do know, One News, One PH. We're also on One News on PH. We are also on Radio Cinco, like I said earlier. And thank you for listening to us. We're halfway on the show. <laughs> remastered avatar to be shown in philippine cinema yes we had the chance to really attend the press conference for of james cameron yes shepard stars sigourney weaver zoe saldana and they were talking about why it's important to re-watch the remastered version of avatar because it paved way for 3d cinema guys so parang historically Malaking bagay talaga tong ginawa ng Avatar. And syempre ngayon, that they have a new uh, film in tow. Well, talagang kailangan panoorin rin talaga. So, it's the box office epic adventure that will be back in 4K high dynamic range. Ding, ding, ding. Now, for you guys stickler and techie when it comes to film resolutions and whatnot, this is for you. Watch it now via limited time series. It is considered the high, highest crossing film of all time with almost $3 billion worldwide in sales. Ding, ding, ding. Sam Worthington, Zoe Saldana spoke about their experience doing the film and excitement. Watch what they said. Up until that point, I hadn't really thought about having, you know, really intense conversations around around environment, around Mother Earth. And, and that was sort of like the initiation of that consciousness, you know, for me. Um, in terms of uh, uh, work, uh, it was groundbreaking. You know, it really, it really, uh, I was able to catapult myself into other projects and continue my journey growing as an artist and uh and being able to you know through my influence to tell really good stories that i believe in and collaborate with filmmakers that i believe in um but the greatest gift of all um is is the experience to be able to come back and uh and work with people that i that i just you know love and truly admire which is you know when you come back to a sequel and of a film that you really really enjoyed it is a gift that the actor takes with them as all the time <laughs> Peel Diddy Home powers House of the Dragon on HBO. Ding, ding, ding. Yup, I've been watching. Napupuyat ako dahil dito. I've been reading the books again. So I'm so happy that our sister company Peel DT is powering it up. So millions of viewers all around the world tuned in the highly ante anticipated HBO original series when it debut in August 22. Well, now in the Philippines, the country's fastest broadband connection of PLDT Home provides the most seamless viewing for HBO Go. So they can look forward to enjoying one hour of captivating television every week. Well, guys, based on George R.R. R. Martin's Fire and Blood, the series is set 200 years before the events of Game of Thrones, and it tells the story of House Targaryen. It stars Patty Considine, Matt Smith, Olivia Cook, Emma D'Arcy, Steve Toussaint, Eve Best, Fabienne Frankel, Sonoya Mizuno, and R Riss Ifans, and we did interview some of the cast. Yes, we had an up-close chikahan with Kimo Gumatay, the new Idol, Idol Philippines champion. Ding, ding, ding. Kimo, the latest champion of Idol Philippines Season 2, is still in awe that he won the talent competition. Kimo won over Ricey and Kais in their final battle last weekend. The certified Contesero himself, he did that for his family and he did speak to us and thank the public who voted for him and to the judges of the show who supported him and the other contestants. Here's what he said. Hindi po rin talaga ako makapaniwala kung dahil naging ganun po yung resulta, nagpapasalamat po ako sa mga taong sumuporta sa akin at bumoto sa akin para maging kung ano po yung nakikita niyong Kimo ngayon. Tanggal ko pong hinintay ito, dami na din competitions na nasalihan pero... 
hindi pa rin po ako tumitigil and yun nga po, ito na po talaga. Of course, pageant fans, hindi namin kayo nakalimutan. Ding, ding, ding. Yes, we're going to talk about the Miss Universe date and venue. It's going to happen in Louisiana, New Orleans. Yes, Nolens! Nola, really. Yeah, so anyway, Miss Universe organization did confirm that. And, yep, the, the candidates can join even if they're married and they have kids or they are divorced. That's about the new rules, okay? They posted the video and the date, and yes, I bet Celeste Cortez will be in on this fight, and of course, other people from other countries as well. But for those who wants to join, who has children already, uh, you still need to be 18 to 28 years old. Yep, we'll give you more updates about this. This is the bombshell dropping in on number one. Adam Levine cheating on his wife. Yeah, hey, no. Adam Levine is trending in different social media platforms after a model named Sumner Stroll posted a video on TikTok saying that she had an affair with a man married to a Victoria's Secret model. She later showed screenshots of messages of no other than Maroon 5 vocalist himself, Adam Levine. Ding, ding, ding. She also said that Adam wanted to name his third child with wife Bihati who's currently pranky after Sumner. Adam tied the knot with model Bihati in 2014, and they already had two children. They just announced that they will be having a third baby, and on his IG stories, Adam already posted his side on the issue and said he used poor judgment in speaking with anyone other than his wife in a flirtatious manner. Grabe. Anyway, he said that he will take full responsibility, as he should. Ding, ding, ding. Anyway, guys, stay safe from COVID-19. Wear a mask, disinfect, get boosted, please. That's it for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow, mga kapatid. Bakalis sa my countdown. Monday to Friday is quarter to five. One News, one PH, Radio C, 92.3 News FM. I'm MJ Marfori. Thank you so much for joining me. Kasi pa 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 ano natin. Oh, anyway, thank you, guys. I love you. What am I tomorrow? See you tomorrow. This is Celebrity Top 10.